foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for Christian Word, Truth, and Institute. And shalom to the Akim, scattered from the four points of the globe, Christian Word, Truth, and Institute as well, too. And I say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out. Uh, out, out, outside uh, sit down lesson. I meant to say salam. And uh, the title of the lesson is uh, Matthew 24, verse 37 and through verse 39, I believe. So that's going to be the title of the lesson. But I'm um, start with uh, this is the book of Matthew, Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37, and it reads: It says, "But as, but as the days of Noah were, so also the coming of the Son of Man be." So that shows you a prime example. We're living in the modern days of Noah in modern day times, you know. You know, because Noah, uh, great forefather Noah, was prophesying 120 plus years, you know, until he entered the ark, until that flood came, you know. So we're back on the scene today as uh, prophets of uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem El Shaddai, you know, uh, sounding alarm and blowing the trumpet, you know, just like our great forefather Noah was prophesying during those times, you know, they didn't believe him until that, that flood came flooded the whole earth and it only uh, saved eight people, you know, and no one answered the ark, you know, with his family, you know. Because this time the Heavenly Father is going to come back with fire on the planet earth, you know, so just like he uh, flooded the uh, whole world, this time he's going to come back with fire this time, you know. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 38, and it reads, it says, for as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marriage and giving into marriage until that day that Noah entered the ark. Right, so we see that in modern day times, you know, because this is modern day Babylon. This is our modern day Egypt, you know. So they was eating and drinking and giving into marriage, you know, and not taking and not taking heed of what's, uh, you know, uh, what's about to take place in the near future. And that's what's happening in uh, modern day times, you know. So that shows you that we're living in the modern day, uh, the modern day Egypt and the modern day Tower of Babylon as well, too, you know. And I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 38. It says, but as, but as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and giving into marriage. Right, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until that day that Noah into the ark, right, until that day Noah into the ark, called him off guard, called him off guard by the flood that hit, you know, and this time it's going to catch them off guard by the uh, chariots of the heavenly father, and, and this place is going to get hit with fire, the whole earth is about to get hit with fire, you know, so it goes to the next scripture, it's the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 verse 39, and they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right, also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, so we are in those modern day times. So that shows you that we are in the modern days of Noah. You know, people were eating and drinking and giving into marriage until Noah entered all of them, you know. So it, 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 once that fire hits, it's gonna catch people off guard, you know. These chariot sightings, it's gonna catch these people off guard. You know, those are the chariots that are having fun. You know, because uh, the chariots of the Heavenly Father is like a war, you know. So this is what we're about to enter into, you know. So with that, this was just a uh, sit-down, outside uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out. Another sit-down lesson that I just want to bring out, as I mentioned before. And the title of the lesson was uh, Matthew 24, verse 37 through verse 39, you know. So that shows you a, a prime example in modern-day times that we are definitely living in the modern days of the world. You know, people were eating and drinking and giving into marriage until Noah into the ark, you know, and the, and the flood came. So this time the fire is going to come and it's going to catch people off guard. Like the scripture says to Heavenly Father, he shall come as a thief in the night, you know. And hey, we're living in those modern day times. So hey, this is a prime example that hey, we're living in the uh, modern days of Noah, you know, spiritually. In modern day Tower of Babylon as well too, you know, modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon. Like the scripture says, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9, there's nothing new under the sun. So that shows you that we're living in the modern days of the Lord. 
And that was the spirit when I was, uh, after I got through a camp and everything like that, and I walked past, and I seen like these uh, married couples, they was uh, getting ready to uh, get married and stuff like that. So, hey, that shows you, that shows you uh, an example that we're living in modern days of uh, no, you know. People were eating and drinking and giving it to marriage, you know. So that shows you we're in those modern day times, spiritually, you know. So with that, once again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem of Arkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, the Christian world, truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered from four corners of the world, Christian world, truth and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I would say, uh, Shalom.